CapCut has finally introduced motion tracking in the latest version for Windows PC and probably Mac as well. In this video I will show you step by step the basics of motion tracking in CapCut. Let's get started. In the world of video editing, motion tracking is used to track the movements of an object. With motion tracking, you can attach statistical data such as text or graphics to a moving object. Or you can use motion tracking to put stickers or emojis on a person's face to preserve the person's anonymity. As you know more now about motion tracking, let's see how this can be achieved in CapCut for PC and Mac. As I said, I'm using the latest beta version for PC, which was released yesterday. Here I have a video that I have downloaded. I'm going to add some text to it now. If everything works as expected, the text will follow the motorcycle. A standard text is enough. But let me prettify this a little bit. It's not really important. I don't like it that way. I'll add an additional effect. That looks better already. Now I need to stick the text on the bike. With the text selected, click the tracking tab. A yellow rectangle will appear. Drag it to the part of the moving object that must always be visible. Otherwise, the motion tracking may fail. Use both directions to get more accurate results. However, it takes longer to calculate. If you want the text to always be the same size, uncheck the scale to follow tracking object checkbox. Then click the start button to start the calculation. I want the text to be displayed throughout the clip, of course, so I need to drag it larger. I do a few more tweaks and then hit restart. Seven hours later. Now it looks fine. Let's take a look at it in full screen mode. Great, the text follows the moving object perfectly. To remove the relationship, just select none. The text will then no longer follow the bike. Perfect. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.